Uh, welcome to Flash's Lindsay Buckingham, Stevie Nixon, Christine McVeigh from Fleetwood Mac. Welcome to Australia. Uh, the band has a long history, Christine, and you were involved in some of the early days. How different was it then to what it is now? Um, well, I joined the band about eight years ago, and the band became into existence about ten years ago, so you're going to lose two years there roughly, but I, I sort of associated with the band fairly closely when I was in another band called Chicken Shack. When Fleetwood Mac first formed, it was it was a blues band and it was very much uh, a pub band that used to travel around the country and earn relatively little money. In <laughs> fact, Chicken Shack was earning even less money than they were. But um, they they became very successful with with an, a, a single they had out called Albatross, right. which um, made them extremely popular on the continent, Europe and England. I think pretty much as, as far as I know, that America didn't really even know them. Stevie and Lindsay, how did you manage to, uh, to leap into such a successful band? How did it come about? Well, <laughs> leaped right into it, yes. Uh, we had had an album out about two years previous to joining Fleetwood Mac called Buckingham Nicks. And at the time, Mick was looking for a studio in which to record an album, and he ended up at uh, Sound City in Los Angeles, uh, just looking at the studio. And the engineer out there who had done our album played him some of our tapes, just to sort of show him what the studio sounded like. And he really liked the tapes, he really liked the music. And I guess about a week after that, Bob Welch left the group, and just on a hunch, they asked us to join. We didn't audition or anything, it was just a very quick thing. We just came in and two weeks later we were in the studio doing that album, the first uh, album that we were on. It must have been um, one of the first bands to incorporate ladies and use them as such. Any problems as far as credibility of ladies in rock and roll when the, when the band first hit the road with the girls? Hmm. Uh, well, I, I'd already been in the band for a good while <laughs> as, as <laughs> a lady. And as a, as a musician, you know, like, I, I mean, I, I'd been primarily a musician rather than a, a backup singer yeah. in any case. And then when Stevie joined the band, she was also a frontline singer and writer. Uh, and I think in that way, I, I guess we were the innovators of that kind of thing because it was more or less, to my knowledge, prior to us, sort of girls would be in rock bands but would be backup singers and pretty faces well yeah. they could be I think it's, it comes down to the fact that Fleetwood Mac would not go on without Chris and me right. if we were sick or something whereas in most bands with a girl in it could go ahead and go would go on and play but, but you've they'd also... have trouble without us okay you must have been pretty delighted with all the awards that you cleaned up this year did you expect them no, we didn't. We we were to think we were told we were going to get one or two of them, but it, in the end, it got to be very repetition, very delightfully repetitious. <laughs> uh, what about a new album forthcoming? Well, it won't be happening for a while, I don't think, because we've been on the road since uh, March eighteenth. March eighteenth. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember what time of the day it was? <laughs> I think we left what, at three in the afternoon. the flight? <laughs> what, what airline was it? We did six gigs and then we went to Europe. <laughs> No, but right, we've so been on the road for a long time, and we're going to need a, a little bit of rest before we start a new album, I think. Right. So we're we're probably, planning prior to that, there March. was ten months of it's recording. March. And the new album hopefully won't take ten months. Yeah. So uh, we're really looking forward to going back in the studio, obviously, but uh, we need a rest first. Okay, well, we'd like to thank you for spending the time and talking to us. We know you're busy. And welcome to Australia. The event that you're involved in, the Rock Arena, is probably the biggest rock thing that Australia's ever seen. And we're glad you could make it. Oh, thank you. Glad to be here. Really? Thank you.